welcome back to Sunshine and Serenity. We are so glad that you are here with us. If you will take a moment, just hit the like button and subscribe if you want to follow us for more videos. We do all things garden, homeschool, um, homesteading skills, um, all the things. So we would love to have you join us on this journey. So take a minute and hit that like button and that subscribe button and we would appreciate it. But this morning I thought I'd do something a little bit different. There's not a whole lot different going on in the garden. We've still got um, greens and, and a few things are popping up, but not a lot of, of a detail to be able to do a new garden tour video. Um, but I figure since we do all, um, homeschool as well, um, that we would do a like a what our morning routine is, like what our daily homeschool um, routine looks like. So as you can tell, I sound like I just woke up because I did just wake up. Um, the good thing was it rained, so I didn't have to get up this morning to water the garden, so I got to sleep in a little bit early. <clears throat> but it's it's 9.55 um, right now. Um, we usually don't start our homeschool routine, um, or like our actual work, until um, around 10, 10.30, um, sometimes even 11. Um, the great thing about it is is it doesn't take but like three hours total um, usually for our work <clears throat> and so we're really flexible in what time we can start that when we can do that and we really really enjoy that so my oldest loves to sleep in <laughs> my youngest is an early riser um, and I'm somewhere in between it depends on if we have to get up and water the garden there's my oldest she's my she's my sleepy <laughs> um, and so we start our our morning routine a little bit later because I do have one that likes to sleep in, one that gets up early, but he's old enough that he does what he needs to do on his own. He'll um, put on an educational cartoon. He's watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse right now, um, but he'll put something on um, and just kind of let mommy and sissy <laughs> uh, wake up when they need to wake up um, versus um, having to wake up as early as he does. So that's really great. I really enjoy having kids that are old enough to do for themselves. That really does definitely help. But we're going to start off the morning with some coffee. We cannot get the get day going without coffee. That is the first thing that I have to do. So we're going to get it going. breakfast going um, in the morning. Now some mornings we um, just fix quick things. My kids like cereal, oatmeal, things like that. Um, other mornings I will actually do eggs, um, something of that sort. So this morning we've decided that we are going to have some scrambled eggs for breakfast. So we're going to get that going. amazing farm fresh eggs that we get from a um, local farmer or a local person that has um, chickens because we don't have chickens yet that's a dream of mine one day I want chickens and animals and farm and all that but we don't have any yet because we um, cannot have chickens here so um, we get our eggs fresh from somebody else so that way we can support them as well as still being able to um, get those farm fresh things that we want
Okay, so once I get breakfast done and we eat breakfast, um, usually my kids will start their chores um, or work on some of their chores. So they each have um, a chore list that they have chores from. So my oldest, she is responsible for the dishes. So she unloads and loads the dishwasher. Um, they both are, are responsible for picking up their rooms and um, keeping their beds made, um, things like that, making sure that they are helping me um, keep this house picked up. So they will work on some of that. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still trying to wake up. So they'll work on their chores um, after breakfast, just get, you know, mainly just some of the, like the dishes or anything like that done. Um, they don't have to do them all right now, uh, right at the beginning of the day. Um, but before they can have any free time, any outside time, um, anything like that, any fun thing, they have to have their chores completed for the day. And um, so we do that. And then we get to our Bible story um, <clears throat> and our Bible lesson. So that's what we do after breakfast. Okay, so my camera cut out for a minute there, but I am finishing breakfast. And then once I get done finishing breakfast, um, we will uh, start our morning Bible study while we're watching our breakfast, or what, sorry, watching our breakfast. We'll start our morning Bible study while we're eating our breakfast. And then we will just start our homeschool day. So I will go and show you guys what um, that looks like for us. Um, what our, we have a schedule. And when I say schedule, it's not a time schedule. It's just an order of events that we do our schooling in. And I will take you by and show you guys that in just a minute. So let me finish this breakfast and we will get to that part. To show you um, what our <laughs> what our chore chart and our um, homeschooling chart look like so um, let's take you over there okay so this is our family command center so this is where everything happens so this is where everything happens and we have our erasable chore charts for both my children and then we kind of have our thing here now originally when I came up with the weekly schedule I did have time, uh, like a time slot for each thing 
But after um, us doing homeschooling for a few weeks, we realized that the time didn't, the time restraints really didn't work for our family. So we changed that. So, you know, it's okay to change things once you, and there's our calendar right there. So it's okay to change things once you get um, something done if you realize it doesn't work for you. But this is basically what we do. We don't do the time anymore, so ignore the time. But we just, in the morning, we wake up, we get dressed, breakfast. Again, chores like I talked about. We do our Bible and our devotional while we're eating our breakfast. And then we do reading and writing. So my daughter works on her um, English and her writing while I work with my son who is in kindergarten um, on his workbook. We do like our letter of the week, our number of the week, our color of the week, and we also work on language arts. And then we have a snack and learning video of the week um, before lunch or if we get our day started a little bit later. Then we do our video of the week while we're eating lunch. Now, our video of the week is we do a different theme every week. So this week, our theme is fall and leaves um, because it is the end of October. So um, we do a different theme every week, and then we watch educational videos on that theme. Um, and then we do, so we normally uh, spot it out time for recess, but what I've learned is my kids prefer just to get their work done. And then get their chores done to where they can spend the rest of that time outside if they choose to. All right, so then we do our math and science together, and then we do our history, geography, and then we're pretty much done for the day. So that's our routine.